Hello! I totally botched this, the beginning of this uh, podcast, but it's too late. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it the way I started it, and uh, hopefully it turns out okay. So, welcome to the Apostle Podcast. I felt like a black sheep being one of only a couple of colored people. Probably only the only Latino in the company besides the cleaning crew. And um, it's been like that for several, several years, you know. And now our company was acquired by a minority, by uh, another firm, you know. And they want to transform it into a minority company, which requires 51%. I don't know the exact percentage, but the majority has to be owned by, or, and operated by, uh, by minority groups, so um, that puts me in a prime position to be one of only a couple of Latinos, um, you know, puts me in a position to maybe get myself into a bit of a role, and um, not only that, I think my merit has awarded me I think I'm due for something because of the work that I've put in. Um, so I hope that I don't get a job simply because I'm brown. But if it helps, you know, all power, all power to me. So um, we'll see how it goes. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the station. I'll be right. All right, fam, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to get some red bull, otherwise I will stop the hotel as soon as I got home, and I would not be able to sleep. So, you know, it's <laughs> kind of funny. So, I mean, if I drink Red Bulls, I'll be up all all night, and I'll get a lot of shit done. Uh, but then I can't sleep at night because I'm all caffeined up. I'm all Red Bulled up. I got wings. And then when I don't drink Red Bull, I'm all lethargic, you know, and I go to sleep early, you know, because I can't stay awake. And then I can't go to sleep at night because I already had a some sleep. So, you know, it's just some stress, some uh, stress-induced situations that will get better as my work-life balance gets better. Um, so part of that is growing, changing, getting a better position, a position that will challenge me, that will force me to gain new skills. Um, just a lot of work, man. Just a lot of work. And this woman almost killed me. Um, just fucking crazy just you never know you never know you can be fucked over you can be fucked up you can be have no future you can have no you know you can have a lot of sympathy or i don't know i don't know where i'm going with that you know but the point is that at the end of the day you never know when your luck is going to change so best just to put your best foot forward and you know just trust in God and sometimes God is going to put you in those positions where you least expect it so you know I have no idea how I ended up at this company how I'm still at this company despite all the bullshit I've been through but here I am in a prime position to really elevate myself elevate my life 
and um, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how to feel scared, feel happy, feel angry. You know, there's so many things going on. Um, leaders stepping down. You know, people I thought I could count on to be mentors, um, but also people that you know really made my work life balance help. And uh, you know, it's hard. It really is hard to decipher everything and figure out what's going to be best for me. But I think I'm in a good position. Happy about it. I've been really happy this last couple, this last couple weeks. You know, despite all the chaos going around me, and it's not like the stress has gone away, but there's a little bit of hope. You know, and that's that's what's you know keeping me from quitting. At this point. So just gotta gotta try our best to uh, to see what happens and. I, uh, I'm just, you know, I gotta be more proud of myself, more confident. And, uh, yeah, I need to do these more, too, because it really helps me understand things when I'm saying them out loud, when I'm trying to articulate them, instead of just thinking about them in my head. I don't really talk about these things much besides to a few co-workers, you know, so... Yeah, big things. Um, today, the Jazz are facing elimination. Dallas Mavericks at Dallas. So, wait, no, it's here in Utah. So, brink of elimination. Hopefully, you know, we live another day. If not, then it is what it is. So, I'm excited to go home and finish my day watching that. I will edit some videos as well, do some cleaning, and uh, like I said, life in general, it's, uh, it's looking more and more better as, uh, as time goes on. in a busy highway in the middle of rush hour and this idiot lady in front of me decided to just stop in the middle of the highway of course people went around us you know and if the kid would have just went there goes his life you know so uh luckily it turned out well but yeah even someone could have hit me behind you know because we're on the green uh turning arrow light so people are stupid you know even though you're you meant well that could have been really uh bad that timing. Uh, people are really stupid. And I don't know why it happens more often when I happen to be recording on the microphone. Um, like I, you know, I mentioned this before, you know, obviously I do this podcast while I'm driving. It's one of the few times where I actually have free time, you know, so it's a way for me to utilize this free time to get some of my endeavors done, so, um, NBA Jazz, NBA Utah Jazz, man, if they, if they lose, man, I'll be so disappointed, man, I, I quit watching the Jazz just because of how disappointing they, they were, you know, once D. Will left, you know, once Gordon Hayward left, once, it just seemed to be getting progressively worse. You know, the funny thing is when I stopped watching them all together, just blacked it out of my life. The first year that I missed the NBA draft, the very, the only year that I missed the NBA draft, just because of how upset I was with my team, they decided to draft Donovan Mitchell, who is a franchise transformational player. And, you know, I can't say I'm very emotionally invested as I have been in the past and part of me is because I did not watch that draft um, to be quite frank and, um, and honestly I don't I never really thought Donovan Mitchell was loyal to you you know he got his bag now um, so maybe that changes things um, but I don't know anyways root for the Jazz the best team in the West and uh, thank you for catching the Hopefully podcast today. I love you guys and catch you next time.